Hello everyone. Today we're going to exploring a big query using public as well as custom data set. Storing and querying massive data sets can be time consuming and expensive without the right hardware and infrastructure. BigQuery is an enterprise data warehouse that solves this problem by enabling superfast SQL queries using the processing power of Google's infrastructure. Simply move your data into BigQuery and let it handle the hard work. You can control access to both the project and your data based on your business needs, such as giving others the ability to view or query your data. You access BigQuery through the cloud console, the command line tool, or by making calls to the BigQuery REST APIs using a variety of client libra libraries such as Java, .NET, or Python. There are also a variety of third-party tools that you can use to interact with BigQuery, such as visualizing the data or loading the data. In this lab, you access BigQuery using the web UI. You can use the BigQuery and web UI in the Cloud Console as a visual interface to complete tasks like running queries, loading data, and exporting data. This hands-on lab shows you how to query tables in a public data set and how to load sample data into BigQuery through the Cloud Console. So today's objective is to querying a public data set, creating a custom table, loading data into a table, and then querying a table, right? So right guys, let's get started. So we are in the Google Cloud Console now. So we'll go for the BigQuery. Here it is. We're going to explore first of all the public data set. So in order to do that, let's add the data. So we will pin our existing project, which is nothing but BigQuery public data. And there are multiple data sets available under this. So now it's going to it's going to come in some time. It takes some time to load. All right, we can see it's loaded. Let's let's expand it. So today we're going to there, there are multiple uh, data sets, public data sets available to explore. However, today we're going to review or explore uh, USA names data database. So yeah, here it is. And now let's expand and check for a particular specific table, which is nothing but USA uh, 1910 to 2013. So the data set specific this table probably we will explore. So now this is the table and the schema where we have state, gender, date of birth, especially year, and then the name of the person. And then, you know, how many times the name is coming or appearing into this data set. So in general, we would like to see, right, uh, basically the population with this name. Okay, with respect to a particular gender. So in order to do that, let's, let's query. All right. So we're going to write the query and as per the schema probably we will add so we're going to select name gender then some of your the occurrences from this table Okay, so we have to use here the group by. So we have to group by with the uh, sorry with name and gender and order by. total in descending order okay so it will probably it will give it the give us the results 
so to the one that we required so let's run it so this is the elapsed time how much time is, is elapsed in order to see the results all right so our query executed successfully and we can see the results so with the names uh, probably and as per the gender we can see the total number of occurrences right so all right so we have explored the public data set now let's add the custom data set into bigquery so in order to do that we already have the pub, uh, custom data set already downloaded so let me show you so here you can see let's read about this data set this is basically is about national data on the re relative frequency of given names in the population of u.s births where the individual has a social security number okay probably you can explore this data set more i'll go back and in order to explore the data set probably we have to add uh, the data set and then we have to create a table so what we can do uh, we can we can create a data set here so data set id is nothing but what the name would like to give to this this database okay so i can give us baby names location i can choose usa with multiple regions rest of the settings i'll keep it as default and i'll click on create data set all right so we can see that baby names this data set has been created let me expand i can see now what i can do is i can create a table okay in order to create the table we first of all we have to upload the data so let's select the file and especially we will will be you know utilizing for today 2014 data all right and uh, before we go it let's see uh, what we have into into this file so probably uh, similar to our public data set we have the name and then the gender and the total number of occurrences so how many how many people are there with this name and with this gender all right this data is comma separated so you know this is the string this is the string and this is the integer so we have uploaded our data now the file format is basically csv comma separated value and then we can give a name to this table Okay, since we are exploring for 2014. Okay, and now uh, we have to add the schema. So there are three columns. So first is the name with the uh, string data type. And then we have the gender. with again string data type and also we have the count and that is integer that we already explored right so let's create a table it's getting created all right it's gonna load in some time right we can see so within this data set probably we create a table loaded the data for 2014 right so table is ready we're gonna explore so we can see here again what the schema that we added name gender and count you know that's 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 available here probably we can add it to schema also now let's query so we'll write a query so similar way 
we will we'll select name and from this table and then we gonna only explore the names and the count where the gender is male okay also if needed probably we can add order by count in descending so in descending order probably the count will show right so our query is ready probably we can run it now it's getting done so query completed all right so our query successfully executed now we can see the results so the name and the count is showing so probably with with, with this name no there, there is a count of 19,305 so similar names are uh, this this is a count for the similar names available into the file right so yeah we got the results the so similar way probably you can explore uh, a data set so you can add your own custom data set and you can you know uh, work on it thank you have a good day